Hey, this is Jason Morris from Real Estate Agents to Really Work Facebook group. And I want to talk to you this morning about how to stay focused on selling real estate. You know, I see a lot of agents and they, they want to do better. They want to do more business. And one of the big problems is they're too busy to sell real estate. You know, they're just not focused on it. And the focus is, focus is driving everything in your life. I mean, you know, to progress selling real estate and progress in, in your career, you need to focus on the things that are important. You know, the world is just mad and crazy and there's always these abstract, all these uh, distractions. And if you just do some searches online for real estate and you'll see like 10 different strategies, you know? So what I thought I would do is give you, give you three strategies to help you stay focused on your business and help you stay focused on your day. And, um, and help you reach the goals that you want to you want to get because if you're not going to focus on your goals and focus on the business, it's going to be tough to reach your goals. Um, so num strategy number one, you know, I do this during my day. I make as few decisions as possible during my day about what I'm going to be doing that day. I mean, I have my schedule. I follow my schedule. I know between this time and this time, I'm going to be making calls. I know between this time and this time, I'm. I'm be going on appointments. I've already got the time blocks. I've already got time blocks set up for next week. I don't even have an appointment next week. So, but my days, I know that like, Hey, I can't, you know, I can't go over here and do this because that's in the middle of my work day. And this is what I, I do. If I was at any other job, I couldn't take off at one o'clock in the day to go hang out with my friends or go hang out and do whatever it is because I have a job to do. I make as few decisions as I can during my day about what my day is going to be about because I have my schedule to follow. And once you set up that schedule, you know what you're going to be doing next Wednesday. You know what you're going to be doing on Monday morning. You know what you're going to be doing tomorrow. And I don't let anything interfere with, with my decisions for the day because my schedule is the most important thing I have going on. So, so number two, I also, I've got my goals defined and what my mission is. I know how many properties I want to sell and um, anything dealing with my schedule and, um, and my goals it is a big deal. So I only work on things that are going to help me progress towards my mission and my goals. You know, one thing I told a lot of agents is that, that I'd like for these videos and my my Facebook group and stuff. I'd like for it to impact positively the lives of as many agents as possible. And I've got um I've got goals and benchmarks set for you know how many how many YouTube views I would like to see you know in the first quarter of this year. How many I'd like to hit in the second quarter and stuff like that. And I've got goals for how I'd like to see my Facebook group grow. I've got goals for how many listings I want to take. Anything that doesn't fall within those goals then um, I, I can't do it. And I have a plan and that plan is um, that plan is pretty much said stone is wrote out. It's I know what my mission is. I know what my goals are. I know what I have to do this week to hit my goal. I know what I have to do next week to hit my goal. And um, I see a lot of agents. What they'll do is they write down all their goals and they write down their mission and they write down their plan to hit those goals. And they'll listen to my videos and they go, okay, great. Jason's doing a lot of for sale owners. He's doing expired. He's doing red X. Then they'll go listen to another person that talks about real estate and stuff. And this person goes, oh gosh, you should do Facebook ads because you don't have to get on the phone and all this stuff. And, um, or you should do this or that, or you should do Instagram. And that technically doesn't fit into their goals. It doesn't fit into their plan. So they quit working on their plan. And they quit working on the things they know that's going to work, like talking to for sale owners, expireds, and you know, Z buyer and stuff like that. And they go start working on another plan. And they lose focus and they lose momentum. And all the work they put in working on, you know, building their listing business just kind of goes by the wayside while they go chase another business that they think is going to be easier. They think they're not going to have to get on the phone. They think they're not going to have to deal with rejection. And um they think that things are just going to, uh, you know, just be easier. You know, basically their goal and their mission just keeps, keeps changing. 
and they never review those things to make sure that they're on track. And you need to re you need to do that. You need to review it. You need to review on like a weekly basis. Um, people, you know, I talk to a lot of agents. They'll set a goal, and then they they have a week go by, and it's the first week of January, and um, they hit you know Sunday, the first Sunday in January, and they they're already off track the first week. They haven't reviewed. They don't really know that they're off track. And so they just kind of stumble into week two. They stumble into week three. You know, six weeks go by and they're, you know, they're so far behind that the first quarter, they just can't get called up. And um, you have to review those goals. And a lot of them, the reason they've done that is because their, um, their mission changed, you know. They took their eye off the ball. You know, for some agents, it isn't that they take their eye off the ball. They didn't know what the ball was to begin with. You know, so you have to you have to review your goals. Okay, the the third thing you need to do to stay focused is you need to start telling people no. Okay, and as real estate agents, you know, a lot of people don't think that we have like a real job. You know, I mean, I, my mom my mom was probably my biggest one for a little while. And I mean, but there's been a bunch of people. I mean, they don't understand. They think that, hey, we don't have to go somewhere and clock in tomorrow. So we can kind of go do what we want to tomorrow. You know, um, there's that. Then there's, you know, I, I know that a lot of you guys have it. And um, because I have it, I've had it happen to me the entire time I've been in the real estate business. You get opportunities that, you know, some of them are insane that are never going to work out. Some of them sound like a good idea. Some of them sound like, you know, um, uh, hey, it could really work. Some of them sound like, you know, you're going to make a million dollars in a week. But um, what you need to do is, you know, look at, look at your goals, look at your schedule, look at your plan, look at what your mission is, and just say no to everything. When it initially comes up, say no. If you, um, then after doing research, if it fits with your goal, if it fits with your plan, if it fits with what you're doing, you know, then say yes or commit to it. But me personally, I don't commit to anything. I mean, I had a guy message me yesterday and he was asking me about doing this thing. It doesn't fit within the real estate, the real estate vertical. I mean, and here's the thing. Every time I've said, hey. I'm going to do something that sounds really, really cool and I'm going to spend money or invest money in it. And it's outside of the real estate vertical. You know, it doesn't have to do with buying or selling a house or the real estate industry um, as a whole. Man, I've lost money. I've not only lost money, I lost time. And then I lost more money because I wasn't working on the things I should be working on. So um, the, the three ways I'm going to recap for you, the three ways to stay focused in 2000, 2017 is you need to make as few decisions as possible about your day and your schedule and what you're doing. You have a schedule. When you set up your schedule, just stick to it. Nothing changes in it. If it doesn't fit in the schedule, you can't do it. Number two, you, know, you need to actually define your goal and your mission, and you need to only work on things that are going to help you get to that, that goal and mission. You know, you can add more lead sources. Like when you're going after listings, you can add more lead sources. You know, if you're doing red X expires, you want to add for sale by owners, you want to add pre foreclosures, you want to start calling around just souls and just listing geo leads. You know, it's great because that fits into that same vertical of getting calls and prospecting. But if all of a sudden somebody approaches you with a grand, grand idea or grand scheme, you know, like, hey, you know, we've got this new project and we've got a new website that wants you to buy. It's going to take up three hours of your time a day or whatever it is. That doesn't really fit with your goal or your mission. You know, if you're wanting to create a listing business, you know, why are you going to investing in a really expensive website to generate more buyers? I mean, if you're going to do that, you're going to add that new system. You need to define what you're going to do with it. You need to figure out how you're going to work those leads. But whatever that new system is, it can affect the system that you currently have going on. If you're calling, making calls for three hours a day, you can't go, hey, look, I'm going to take that three-hour time block that I'm doing really well in, and I'm going to whittle that down to an hour so that I can add two hours of blogging to it. You know, whatever doesn't fit within that goal or mission and the systems you have that are working, you can't do. 
you know, and it's just that easy. You only need to work on things that are going to progress the mission. And you need, to, you need to set standards for your business. You know, that's probably the biggest thing. You need to set standards for your business. You know, what are you going to work on? What are you not going to work on? You know, what areas of the market are you going to work in? And what areas are you not going to work in? You know, like for, like for me, um, you know, I don't do million dollar homes. I prefer the, the more affordable range. You know, I prefer the, you know, I really prefer the 50 to 150 range, you know. I'll go 250, 300, you know, in that range. Um, but typically, you know, the, the ones I'm really following up on and the ones that are fitting in my day are the price range that really, really sells in my market. You know, the stuff outside of that, you won't see me chasing a million and a half dollar house. You won't see me chasing, you know, a $750,000 home lot, you know, things like that. I, I don't waste time because it doesn't, you know, it doesn't fit into the standards I've created and the structure of my business you know, and so easy, so easy to take your eye off the ball and forget what you're doing. And, you know, the third thing is you just need to say no to everything. You know, I have people that approach me all the time. Like I said, I have people that approach me all the time with random stuff. And lots of times it's just going to take your money and it's going to take your attention off of what your real goals and real motivation is. You know, they try to sell you a magic pill or a magic question or a magic script or a magic, you know, some kind of magic system that no way at all relates to the real estate industry. And um, when that happens, you lose focus. You lose focus on what's important. And um, so guys, that's three things. It's two, three tips and three strategies that I do that, that help me stay focused. And I hope you guys can stay focused in 2017. Do more business, reach your goals, reach your dreams, do more, more than you've ever thought you could do before. And if, if you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, also, if you're not part of my Facebook group, Real Estate Agents That Really Work, go join it. And uh, I'll talk to you soon.